Hey everybody, Frank here, Godzilla Island, with a little book review of the book What is the Story of Godzilla by Sheila Keenan. It's an official Who HQ book. It is illustrated by Robert Squire. Uh, this is one of the recent Penguin Random House releases. Uh, I gave it a read. It's like a young adult's book. It gives you the history, backstory of Godzilla, the movies, and just takes you through the Showa era, Heisei era, Millennium era, tells you the backstory of how the movie got made, why it was made, and the reception, and everything that kind of happened, brings up 98. Uh, really great book, it's filled with lots of history. Um, pretty much knowledge that most big hardcore Godzilla fans would know. Um, if you're a big Godzilla fanboy, been following for years, you would know most of that info. But what's great about this is this is a Who HQ book. Now, if you've never heard of that, they do books about celebrities, uh, politicians, historic figures, uh, fictional characters like Godzilla, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, athletes, all that. And they put out a ton of books. I mean, there's a couple hundred of these that are out there now. It's they have the Who is this? Uh, who is? Uh, let's say Who is Britney Spears? What is the story of Godzilla? What is the story of Wonder Woman? Stuff like that. Anyway, um, there's usually a section in most public libraries now with these Who HQ books in the young reader section. So. Kid's gonna see this on the shelf, they're gonna be oh, this is cool, there's Godzilla. Newbie maybe has not seen a Godzilla movie and they wanna learn about Godzilla. They'll pick this book up, hear the history of him, and say, hey, let me start watching movies, and there you go. Boom, just like that, you have a new Godzilla fan. That's, that's one thing that I love, Penguin Random House putting out these young adult children's books, is that it's bringing in new fans. You gotta remember um, the Showa era, had a lot of kid-focused Godzilla movies, although they weren't intended for children at first. Um, they eventually did come out with some. Now there's some great illustrations in here. Not every page has illustrations, but a lot do. Uh, really cool art. And even like sort of like on the first page, it brings up the amusement park. Mentions Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms as inspiration. Got some Godzilla sketches. The actors. It's really nice art in here. Really well done art. Um, shows you the prop making, Hollywood reception. Brings up uh, all different things. Raymond Burr, how he came to America, Godzilla. And it even brings up some of the other kaiju. The Big Five, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Rodan, Mechagodzilla, Godzilla of course. It brings up King Kong, even Minya, Manila. Really nice art, Biolanti, gives you these little factual sections. Just, it's all around a little quick fun read. It's, uh, uh, I believe 103 pages with that, and then plus we get the bib in the back. Yeah, fun read, a little nice learning experience. If you have little ones that want to know the history about Godzilla, this is a great book to pick up for them. Highly recommend it, and uh, as you know, a collector, of course, it's a great thing to have in your book collection as well. So definitely pick up What is the Story of Godzilla from Penguin Random House, Who HQ by Sheila Keenan. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this book, and uh, if you've read any other of the Who HQ books as well.